Hi drummers, hope you're well. Ciao, adios by Anne Marie. Shout out to channel member Laura who's yeah, working yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I say, shout out to Laura, and she just said, can you have a little playthrough of this one? And uh, like I did with a few songs a short while ago, she said, can you do it in the style that you might do on a gig? So I'm back to playing gigs now. I was back this weekend, uh, last weekend gigging, and it's tons of fun to be back, um, playing a load of party tunes, you know, fun songs like this. Basically just so unreal and brilliant to see people out there in front of you dancing, just loving it and just, you know, sort of receiving music and just digging the performance and just you know g going for it and it's just really lovely and so she said can you play that in the style of the how you would do on a gig i think i'd do something like that it's got that soca type of beat running through it hasn't it which is really lovely and i made a video about that type of beat in fact a couple which i'll link to in the description below but other than that i'm just kind of goofing around just sort of trying to punctuate it in a vaguely sort of exciting way with the fills obviously i'm doing more fills than there are on the original i'm not doing a note for note cover of the original here again i'm playing in the style that i would do on a gig to sort of keep it exciting to punctuate from one section to the next just to sort of keep it fun really keep the party vibes going there's always the danger that you could overplay and maybe i did here and there but i just you know it's just just what i would do to try and make it exciting and to get everybody going on the type of gigs that i do a lot which are function gigs party gigs you know parties festivals whatever like you're looking out like i say your job is that everybody is feeling that feeling it's even more so than the sound man in fact on on 
Saturday night we played in this amazing venue, but it's basically a big old church, and the sound was all over the place. You know, you're hitting your snare drum, and it's just bouncing back, and you know, it was a difficult sound. But the vibe is the thing, man. On those gigs, it's just if you make it feel right, or just anyway, well, do what you can do. If you're in that setting where the sound is difficult, so what? Like, do what you can do. Like, you can't change that. So make it feel good. Give them, give your audience that feel, that exciting feel that they want, and uh, you'll be in business. That's my opinion, anyway. So thanks a million. Shout out to Laura, and see you soon. Thanks a lot.